Prince Harry's biggest criticisms of the royal family have been debunked by his biographer following his recent podcast interview. The Duke of Sussex took aim at Prince Charles' parenting style last week as he talked about breaking the cycle of the pain and suffering he faced while being brought up with his own children. However, Angela Levin, who wrote Harry, Conversations with the Prince, has disputed his recent claims, which were made during an interview for U.S. actor Dax Shepard's Armchair Expert podcast. She also warned Harry that other recent complaints he made about the royals, including the Queen and his brother Prince William, made him look like he was becoming a moaning victim. Ms. Levin told The Sun, When I spent 15 months with Harry, he was charming and full of mischief. He has changed to become this moaning victim. During the interview last week, Harry shared a snippet into his plans to bring up his own children, Archie, too, and his future daughter. He said, I've experienced some form of pain or suffering because of the pain or suffering that perhaps my father or my parents had suffered. But Ms. Levin said his claims were very different to an appearance on BBC Radio Force Today program, where he even invited his father on for a chat. She said, they talked very lovingly as father and son. There was a warmth there. So it is extraordinary for Harry to now suggest otherwise. During his engagement interview Harry said he had invited Meghan to the royal family Christmas at Sandringham, because this was the family she had never had. Why do that if they are such a rotten family? He is reconstructing his own life to be a victim. Harry also said he is able to take Archie on the bike in their new California home, which he wasn't able to do as a child. But Miss Levin hit back that there are pictures available for the public to view online that show him on bike rides with both his parents while growing up. She said, there are pictures of Harry on the back of his bike as a child going on cycle rides with his parents. And if he wanted to escape the goldfish bowl, Los Angeles is a strange place to go. The city is a hot spot for paparazzi and the United States affords more freedom to the press than it does in the United Kingdom. There were lots of wealthy friends in Britain with big sprawling private homes where he could hide from the cameras. However, Ms. Levin did agree with one of Harry's claims about the way Charles was treated by his parents while he was a child. Harry hinted Charles' own issues were connected to his parents, as he said, so that means has treated me the way he was treated. Ms. Levin added, Harry does seem to be saying here that Charles was damaged by the Queen and the late Prince Philip's parenting style. There is some truth in the idea that the Queen put her royal duties before her own children and was cool emotionally. Prince Philip also displayed the British stiff upper lip rather than show his emotions. So Charles did suffer. But Charles didn't treat Harry the way he was treated by his parents, because while the Queen forbade marrying the woman Charles loved, Charles allowed his children to marry the people they had chosen. When you know your father and grandmother are still grieving the loss of Philip this isn't the time to attack them. Finally, Harry also recently claimed during his other bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey back in March that his father Charles and brother William are trapped in the royal family. He said, my father and my brother, they are trapped. They don't get to leave. And I have huge compassion for that. However, Ms. Levin argued the Queen would have supported any decision to choose a different path to the royal lifestyle and they are not as trapped as he made out. She said, if Harry had said he wanted to go live in Africa and do charitable work, the Queen would have supported that decision. I don't believe that Harry was forced to follow a certain path. How can he think he is not privileged when he lives in this huge mansion in California with 16 bedrooms and 8 bathrooms and a swimming pool? He may not like being a prince, but he can't claim that all the opportunities has receiving now such as these podcasts, don't have anything to do with his royal status. The Queen and Charles have not spoken publicly about Harry's claims to Oprah. But shortly after the tell, all interview was aired, Buckingham Palace said they were saddened by their claims but added recollections may vary.